How's it going, everyone? It's the proper bloke. Yeah, you're probably wishing that I uh, deleted this channel. But I, I want you guys to know something, okay? Some of you think that I'm making these videos because I just, I just want to get known. I make these clickbaity videos. And, and to some degree, yes, there is a bit of it because I actually want to grow the channel. Some people don't understand how YouTube works in a way. And they make videos that just don't get enough attention because they themselves don't make good titles or whatever. And I, I try to do my best to not make such clickbaitish titles. And when it comes to like news videos, sometimes the titles are just so big, I, I really can't do anything about it. But for my latest video, that video wasn't really clickbaitish at all. In fact, I even said, yes, it's going to be heavy criticism. It's, it's not going to be um, something that a lot of people would like. That's why I gave like the little spoiler in the title. And I just want to tell you guys, I, I perfectly understand why you disliked the video. Some of you want to defend Mass Effect Andromeda for the fact that I'm criticizing something that is unofficial. And here's the thing. Mass Effect Andromeda in general right now is not official. Okay, all the footage we're getting is not official. It's pre-release, okay? The press and all the reviewers that have played the game, even some Mass Effect YouTubers that have played the game, they did not actually play the final released version or final product that is Mass Effect Andromeda. This apparent gold version that was stated that essentially means that Mass Effect Andromeda is finished. Essentially, they're not playing the finalized version of it. Some would say that, yeah, pre-release is pretty much at the final. But I'm worried about the final end product. The product that I'm going to be paying for. The product that you will be paying for. I'm worried that the game being built and created by a AAA company might not actually come out as a triple a game and a lot of people accept games that aren't triple a anymore especially when they're coming out from a triple a company and that's a problem guys and the problem in some respects can start with content creators and reviewers and all the people that essentially make content or anything about a game that a lot of people look up to okay a lot of youtubers I'm not going to make percentages here, but I'm going to say that there's a lot of Mass Effect YouTubers in this community who don't at all really create any criticism about Mass Effect Andromeda. And this is a problem, guys, because if you want Mass Effect or any of your games to actually come out to be outstanding the way they should be, triple A quality from a triple A company, you're not going to get it if you're going to have faith in a company and not have any kind of criticism or awareness about things that should be fixed in a game, especially pre-gameplay footage, footage that isn't the finalized version of the game. If you can spot out some things that even might be pushy, might sound dumb, might sound retardedly extremely ignorant and whatever not you know it's like this video i made even those videos can have a positive impact to a game now it's sure some of you might be arguing right now that bloke i see what you're saying that we should get more aware about mass effect andromeda or just in general our games that we really like to get but right now you're really too late mass effect andromeda is pretty much finished it's already at the gold version and that's the thing sure it might be late and there probably won't be anything else to see from Mass Effect Andromeda in terms to, you know, any kind of videos we get now that we, you know, even if we criticize, we, we really wouldn't get anything out of it. I, I get that. You know, we're going to get this big patch and it's going to fix things and whatever. What I'm trying to say here, guys, is that the Mass Effect community has a little too much faith and a, a bit of ignorance. A lot of you guys are putting way too much faith in games and you're not putting much rational thought into it. This is why pre-ordering is not really my forte. I really don't like pre-ordering. Some of you have a bit of solid reasons why you would pre-order, such as if you're just putting five or $15 down on a copy, a physical copy, because you really can't get digital or anything of that sort. And I, I guess that makes sense. I, I can understand that. But fully buying the game? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna get to that because that's a totally different video that I'll have to touch up on. But I made this video because a lot of other YouTubers are not. They are not making the Mass Effect community, or at least trying to attempt to make anybody aware of some of the flaws that Mass Effect Andromeda could very likely have. Sure, the gameplay footage is from the not final version of the game. So why not we get the final version of the game now that it's gold and get some good gameplay footage and be able to make some real thoughts off that. Well, 
That's why I'm concerned. We're not getting any of that. We could, we could very well towards the closeness and proximity of us getting to the launch date of Mass Effect Andromeda, but we're gonna have to wait and see if that's actually going to be the case. And that's the thing, we're really lacking some things that we really need to really put some thought and some real facts, some hard facts down for Mass Effect Andromeda. And we're probably not going to actually get it until it's released because that's kind of like the new trend now, to not really show your final game. And at the end of the day, most of the time when that happens, your game doesn't come out to be great because it wasn't to be great in the first place. It was just to make the money and to get people hyped and to get the people to pre-order your game. And then that's when you get hit with the whole, hey, I didn't like the game. What the hell? What's going on, guys? Again, I'm going to go back to me saying that, look, all I'm trying to do here is to kind of open your eyes on some of the things that we should be open to. We need to rationalize a bit on some of the things that Mass Effect Andromeda might not be great at, okay? Too many people are praising this game, and very, very few are doing anything to bring up the negativity that this game could very well have. And criticism can only have one thing, especially when the criticism or topic at hand is for a good cause. Criticism, dumb or small, can be very positive for a game. Because the worst thing that can happen from the criticism is that the bad thing you were criticizing, no matter how bad the video was presented, could actually turn out to be true. And then I could be like, yeah, I told you guys so. That's the worst thing that can happen because when I make this video, I'm hoping that I'm wrong because I want the video to be wrong because I hope that Andromeda comes out to be great. We really don't know, guys. We, we don't. And so a lot of you are really trying to secure this sense of uh, pride for Mass Effect Andromeda, but that's kind of dumb. You guys need to open your minds a bit. Be a bit skeptical. Be a bit open. Criticize a bit. Dumb or small, no matter how dumb the video I presented was and how better it could have been presented, it doesn't matter, okay? Criticism is what helps games. And so this is what my video is about. I do apologize for not making a video that was more well thought out. Usually, like most of my videos are, no, I'm not great at it, not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not a minious GC, but there are a bit of big Mass Effect YouTubers that are not showing enough awareness to some of the things or the game elements that Mass Effect Andromeda might be lacking. And without criticism, you're never going to get that beautiful, perfect game you want. So, I hope you understand that my video, yes, it might have been pushy, it might have been bad, but it's fairly good. It's for a noble deed. It's to hopefully bring out some concern and attention to the AI. Bear with me here. I know my content might not be impressive. I know it might not be amazing, and I know it might be pushy again, but I'm, I'm not doing this because I want your attention and to just get the views and whatever. Although the ad revenue I'm getting really does help me out in real life, like, you know, paying off bills and my debt. It's not for that. It's just one of those side things that comes with this hobby of mine of making videos. But I really just care about this community because I really absolutely love Mass Effect, the franchise in general, and the community is outstanding. I love it. Even though some might disagree that I said that, the community is outstanding. Sure, there, there are not a lot of well thinkers out there in, in the Mass Effect community, but what community doesn't have those kind of guys, okay? I can see that a lot of you could very well easily change your mind about how bad this video was and how you really hate me because of that video, because maybe this video might have opened or shined some light on you and kind of showed that I, I do care. Now, I wasn't going to cherry pick comments and just absolutely annihilate them for being dumb or, or even being right, and I'm not going to do that, okay? Um, I do apologize to some of the people I replied back. I, I might have been a bit feisty with my comments because, guys, you got to understand, as a content creator, and a specifically a new one that's getting a lot of, uh, of notice now, it's really hard to get past some of the uh, negativity that you, you will get, no matter what kind of size YouTuber you are. Even Minius, who has an absolute amazing like-to-dislike ratio on pretty much all his videos, he gets some really negative comments, too. And, you know, for me, I, I get even more. And it's really, it's really hard. It, you know, it's something that you got to really get used to. And just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. So, anyways, that was it. Hopefully, some of you might come back. Because uh, I think I lost a bit of subscribers, even though I've, I have been gaining some. I definitely have been making a lot less than I used to. And I think that's just because I've been losing a bit of subscribers. I hope some of you might realize that 
I'm not doing this because I'm some whiny kid who doesn't know what he's talking about and blah blah blah. I do know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this video was not great. The video was not perfect. It wasn't well thought out. But it's for a noble cause, guys. I just want you guys to understand that. Again, hopefully I'll see some of you come back and some of you that are still hanging around but are kind of 50-50 with me at the moment. I hope I still see you too. But I don't know. You'll have to bear with me, guys. And anyways, it's been yours truly, The Proper Bloke. And hopefully... I'll be seeing you on the next one.